Okay, testing. One, two, three, let me know if everything is working and you can hear me. Thank you. <laughs> um, sorry, just slowly setting up. Hello, hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Tiffany, how are you? We do fiber related on the channel. Fiber related, fiber related things on this channel. And um, today we're doing a live stream, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 1 p.m. PST. I haven't decided if we're gonna change the Thursday time to earlier, but as of right now, we are be going to be doing this. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys are making anything or doing anything along with me as we stream, and um, feel free to add it into the stream chat or also putting it in the Discord. People post po photos, and it's just always really nice to see what everyone's working on, and we get to go through them during the middle of the stream. So. Um, that is also always really fun. Um, definitely also make sure you are hydrated and have yourself a nice cup of water close to you. Um, and remember to stretch if you are knitting with me. So today I don't really have much plan. My room's so messy. I honestly should just clean that, but we're streaming. So I'll be do doing, I don't know if you guys remember this. This like, I, I showed it in a yarn corner like a billion years ago. And it's just been sitting in a bucket or a basket for such a long time. But it's just like this marled back section that I had always meant to pick up again. I wanted to make it like a tank that had I-cord um, edges to it. And I just thought it would be really cute with like a skirt. Um, so I don't know what is with me and having skirt moments. Um, but that's essentially all I ever want to do now is just every top I make, I want to add a skirt, which is so, so silly. Uh, but I want to do this nonetheless. We're going to make it and I'm going to have a cute little, I don't know. I feel like I should have something marled. I think this like navy and cream is quite classic. So, and I also don't have anything marled. Um, <clears throat> and I want to use up this yarn. <laughs> um, so I might knit this for a little bit. I don't know how long we'll knit it for. And then I also, if we have time, which we normally don't, I want to um, unravel a sweater because I don't, I don't wear it. I haven't finished it. It's been sitting and um, I'm not into this like whip sitting around <laughs> kind of thing, but it's this guy. I had begun knitting sweater number 16 um, and I just never really wore, like I never really got myself to the point where I really wanted to finish it. And then we started making our own patterns, so uh, I really don't want to finish it. Uh, so I might just unravel this guy as well. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna look at the chat now. Um, Emily, hi everyone. Hope you're all having a great whatever time, a great whatever time of day it is where you are right now. We love that. Um, Maya, hi from Finland. How are you working on donation socks? Lovely. You always, you're always doing like the sweetest things. Um, but I am doing, I'm doing good. I had, I hope everyone had like a lovely, um, Easter weekend and you're able to, you know, chill and, um, take a break from life. I know I did. I played, oh my gosh, whoever told me about Sims again, which was like almost all of you, you guys need to be fined. <laughs> I like downloaded it. I started playing it again this weekend and it was such a time suck. I spent like 10 hours on it on, in like the span of two days. And I was like, Tiffany, this is not normal. Um, so I, I can't, I can't play it again. I literally, it'll just, I'll never, I'll never knit again, I think is the issue. <laughs> so we can't do that. Um, JP, hi, Corgan, hi, Ashley, Jade, Ashley, again, a new Ashley we love. Uh, Maddie, hi from Newf Newfoundland. Oh, I would love to go there. Stop. Uh, Ethan Jam Brady, hello, Red Calico. Um, blessed by Jesus, <laughs> hi. Um, Joanna, Legible Ink. Been so long since I've been able to catch a live stream. So happy to be here. Thank you for being here. So sweet. Finishing the boarding of my square neck. Um, camisole in Dusty Artichoke Green today. 
finishing. Okay, I thought it was frogging. I was like, no, frogging. Um, working on the summer core dress by Melina Paulina today. Um, hi, sorry, I have my sound off. What are you knitting? I am wanting to work on this guy because it's a cute marled guy. And then I'm also thinking I'm going to unravel this lovely sweater because I would love to use this gray yarn and use it for like, I'm thinking I want to make, um, cause Jacqueline, I think she was the one that brought up making like a different version of the cable vest. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to use this gray yarn either for the sweater or like maybe like a, like a sleeveless top that goes kind of longer. I'm feeling that. So who really knows? I say unravel first. Okay. Um, I ordered my own for the typical sweater. Um, and also got some drops Alaska for the chunky Leon sweater. Awesome. That I cannot wait for the typical sweater, uh, testing it to go out. Uh, hi from Mexico. I was thinking of making that in a solid for my cousin, but I think you gave me confirmation to not make it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was just the, the yarn I'm using that was alpaca. So it just, I didn't think the drape was going to look nice at all. Um, I finished my first sewing project today. I don't know if they fit because they're for my fiance. He's skinnier than me, so it might be too big. Oh, no, no. Um, hi, missed last week's stream, but I got new yarn. Nice. Uh, Sims 4. Yeah, Sims 4 is dangerous. That was me with Stardew. Yeah, I... Maybe it's a blessing I can't get into Stardew because I will really... I will really play that until no end. Um... You as Sims is me with Animal Crossing now that it's cherry blossom season. Oh, that's so cute. Um, don't get into mesh making. That took me into a black hole itself for the Sims. What is mesh making? Oh my gosh. Um, hey, just got up dance. Hoping to get home in time to post on the Discord. Oh, that's cute. So I wanted to ask for ideas on what to do with 250 gram Aaron Merino. Currently autumn where I live. 250 gram iron weight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if you can do very much. Maybe, maybe a, a headband. Maybe a headband. Maybe a hat. <laughs> That's not helpful. Um, I haven't visited my Animal Crossing. New Horizons Island in over a year. Hope they don't hate me. Oh, it's so sad when you go back and they're like, hey, haven't seen you in two years. You're like, oh, my bad. Um, Hi, Tiffany. What do you do with unraveled yarn when you frog a whip? Um, do you put it back into skein, steam it, strain it, or do you just roll into a wall, use it again? I just, I mean, if you can see me right now, I, I'm like the most laziest frogger ever. Um, I will just knit straight from it. I have no time to be winding them into like Hank size pieces to then uh, wash to straighten and then uh, put back. I think maybe if it looks really bad, sure. But even then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I don't have the time for it. I don't have, I wash too many things. It just, there's no time. Um, I've been known to play Sims 4 and knit basic stock knit at the same time. That's what I tried doing. I like literally when they were going to work, I was knitting. When they were sleeping, I was knitting. Like I even put them on like a autonomous. So like they got to choose their own stuff and then they started two fires. So I was like, okay, maybe like, no. Um... I'm so excited to knit the typical sweater in Sailor in the Dark. I need a classic navy sweater, dude, for sure. I wonder, I, I, I hope that yarn came, went, uh, got to you. Um, Dylan Mulvaney came to my school last week. I couldn't go. Oh, that's sad. Um, but that would have been really cool to go to. Speaking of tests, I love seeing all the trees of Cardi tests you've been sharing. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've been like seeing what everyone's making and so many people did it in like funky colors or people did it in like a basic solid and I like wanted to see everyone's versions of that because I was like oh my gosh do I, I need like my own basic um that's the sign I needed to go buy more yarn tomorrow um I like to wash my unraveled yarn because the ramen can affect gauge I feel like it could and I 
I'm too lazy. I don't. I don't mind. I really don't mind at all. Uh, I miss The Sims so much. I stopped playing Sims 3 because the 32-bit version combined with a, a buttload of mods just wasn't working. Uh, I always play High Free Will. So chaotic. Yeah, because it's like, you're like fighting against them almost. It's like they want to go, like, I don't know. All they ever want to do, okay, I bought them like a fireplace because I was like, ooh, fireplace. And then all they ever wanted to do was like warm themselves. And I was like, bro, can you like up your skill right now or like eat? Thanks. And then a fire started. I was like, okay, nah, I can't have nice things. <clears throat> Girl sim stream. I think it would literally destroy my computer. I'm honestly surprised that I was able to download it and have it run so smoothly on this computer because the last time I had it, it would like, the fan would always run like crazy. Um, and it got a little too like existential. I got like a little, it felt a bit too real uh, playing The Sims because initially I, I like to play it where you buy like one of the base homes and like you live with like one person and then you like get them to get married and then have kids and like get their career up um and like fulfill their dreams and like life goals um and it got to the point where I was like they're making money so slow I'm just gonna use a cheat because I want them to have like nice stuff for their home and then I was like oh my gosh I'm just like playing out a life I could be living and it made me sad because I was just like doing what I was just like controlling them to do stuff that I knew that I was going to have to live through. And it just, I was like, Oh, mm, I'm gonna, Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. I ordered yarn. The yarn I ordered, uh, from you showed up Saturday. Awesome. Do you think PK's new project is around neck? Eva, kind of entertain the idea, idea of a gray bouquet round neck cardigan right now. Yeah, I for sure believe the new cardigan she's making is uh, a round neck kind of. I think she's going to use cashmere though. I think that's the look that I'm seeing. And she's going to do the Ava construction. What is up with this yarn? I can't get it. Okay. Okay, so I've been loving the wave sweater, but I just found out it's Erin Way and it's and it says it's too strong to work. That's a thicky boy. That's the thickiest boy. And it is for what I can make with 270 meters of yarn. I bought two skeins of fancy Rowan Panama yarn. But when I went back to the local yarn store for more, they were sold out. Um, can you let me know what the weight is? But that sounds quite big. Um, I got drops Daisy and Cobalt Blue for the typical sweater. I'm so excited. Oh, that's going to look cute. Um, it seems they're dumber in Sims 4, yeah. Sims always just want to play computer games and randomly grill, grill things. Yeah, I, the mistake was getting them, like, a barbecue grill. Because I was like, oh, like a cute little backyard. But then they would make stuff there, and I'd be like, where'd you go, man? Maybe, like, don't leave me. <laughs> um, I hadn't considered stranded color work with thicker yarn than a DK. I'm wondering what everyone thought on how thick is too thick for you for stranded color work. Um, I think Aaron is definitely too thick. That's crazy. Um, I just spend like nine hours making the Sims and another 30 making the houses and I'm over it for the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, because why do they play video games when they have to go to work? Yeah. And then like, they'll like, they'll, they'll do whatever past the time they're supposed to go to work. And I'm like, my dudes, oh my gosh. And then, okay. I had like a baby, not literally. Oh my God. I in the Sims. Sorry. I should have prefaced that. And, um, I needed a nanny and like, the nanny was like, I'm going to be here at 10.02 and work for them starts at 10. So my, my woman lady, she left uh, early before the nanny got there. And then the nanny got there and she just stood there. She just stood outside. She stood outside for like a good four hours before the baby like had to like was tired or something or like it was hungry. And I was like, this baby's going to die. It literally is not going to survive. And then finally she went in the house and I was like, this is so creepy. This is not it. Um... That real, real Sims existential crisis, yeah. Do you have any simple top-down cardigan patterns for teen adult size that are free? <laughs> free. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, November Knits is having, like, a 50% off uh, all her patterns. So, like, honestly, hit that up. Um, 
but if you're looking for free definitely go check out Ravelry or like Pearl Soho has some good stuff um, that's all I can think of at the moment unfortunately um, I got to download Sims again but I don't have a mouse you need a mouse though it's so much easier an external mouse is easier my yarns cramp too much with laptop mouse mm -hmm. your hands okay um it kind of gets boring when you get too rich i know it got too boring i was like i was like i'm gonna limit myself i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the little cheat get like fifty thousand simoleons and then i'm gonna deplete it to the point where they have like how much they started off with and then i spent that money in like two seconds and i was like oh my god and then the bill came and the bill was more money than the money that they started out with because of all the uh, property tax because um the house was so big uh so then i had to just i just had to put them on a on another good supply of fifty thousand simoleons and i was like oh god has anyone tried the knitting expansion pack i have heard things the cottage core one i wanted to get there's like a japanese theme world uh, and the homes look really beautiful. And I was like, oh, I would love that. I would love that a lot. Um, if you're looking for a relaxing video game, look into Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's like Animal Crossing, but better and addictive. Those are two things. I mean, I don't want it to be addictive. No, <laughs> we want it to be negative addictive. We want it to be like, I liked how with Animal Crossing, you had to do stuff within the day. Um... And like each day is like according to your day. Am I making sense? Like, I mean, if you play Animal Crossing, you understand what I'm saying, but like I could only play for like three, four hours a day and then I had to stop because like you ran out of things to do for the day, um, which I appreciated because you couldn't really get into a too huge of a rabbit hole. Um, the knitting pack is life. Um, when I started Sims 3, I would use Motherload all the time, but then once I had everything, it was boring, and then I'd just cheat over and over. I know. I would just, like, start chaos, and that was probably not... Maybe that's how you play. That's how you play it. And, like, people do challenges. Like, I've seen someone try, like, the 100 baby challenge, and I'm like, that is insane. Um... Tiffany, maybe don't do that. Um, oh my gosh. But I also feel like people just build. Like, people don't even play, they just build. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's what I want. Maybe I just want to build cute homes. Hey, just join, what are you working on? I'm unraveling this. I probably should put it in the knitting video, but then you can't see it, because I'm not going to be putting it right underneath. Um, but I was also going to knit something. Ugh. Tiffany, why do I do this? Um, watching the live while doing some data entry. You needed this. <laughs> uh, nifty knitting is a lot of fun and just a stuff pack, so cheaper than others. I love the Japanese and cottage packs. Anna, hi. I have two skins of yarn, but when I went to buy more, it was discontinued. Why does this keep happening to everybody? Um, I want to make a tank top, but I'm knitting on three and a half. Do you think it's enough or should I do another project? Um, I love you all, but you really need to tell me, like, what, how, like, the grams, you need to tell me the weight of the yarn, you need to tell me the meterage, uh, if you tell me two skeins, that could mean absolutely anything. Um, pets is a necessary pack, also college pack. In city! Oh, I'd love the city one, like, decorate an apartment, stop. Um... And like seasons, I feel like would also be. Oh, um, I hate building in The Sims. OMG, shout out to everyone that loves it. Oh, building's like my favorite part. Um, rags to riches is my favorite challenge. I do it on a beach, and the haunted pack makes it more fun because Sims are easily frightened. Ra I I used to build the homes, and then my sister would play the family part. Oh, that's cute. I've been doing a hundred baby challenge for a while now. I'm still only on my 20th baby. Stop. Wait, I've, I've also seen a challenge where they'll, um, they'll do like the baby challenge, but it's with a different baby daddy every time. And I'm like, there's no way there's that many. 
uh, NPC sims, <laughs> like, out and about. They just, like, walk around. This one girl, oh my gosh. I was like, okay, we're gonna be nice. We're gonna try to be friends with her. And she's so annoying. She'll, like, call my two sims all the time. She'll be like, hey, like, hey, I just want advice. And I'm like, girl, I don't have time to give you advice. I'm trying to, like, raise this family. Or she'll just be like, hey, can I come over? I'm like, girl, you're just gonna sit around, watch TV, and then leave. Like, boring. And then, like... I don't even think, I don't think she has, like, a home. Like, she's just, like, she's 100% NPC. And I'm like, girl, you can make NPCs? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I redid my apartment and made myself as a sim go to college only for him to fail. That's too real. Um, sims children can disappoint you just like the real ones. Love. Uh, how much do you have to pay for sims mod or is it free? Um most mods are free i think you could pay for them because it's like people will make them and then save them and then let you download them which i loved i thought it was such a good premise um but i don't use them very often just because like i don't know sometimes they look real fake or like if i just buy a house that's like beautiful already it's like what even is the point i wanted to build the home myself um, I don't know if it's Sims 4, but Supernatural is a classic. I've played both, so I can't remember which is which. Oh, I definitely played Sims Supernatural on Sims 3, I think. Uh, and that was fun. The vampire one was very fun. Um, I picked not cut an Italian bind off. To make the sleeves for my lento longer also it had mohair please be proud of me everyone dude the most proud that's amazing um i that's what i do all the time though and i just i hate cutting there's just no way um currently working on a shawl for my final costume for university home from uni for spring break thank god treated myself to some thrifted goodies today also love um, nick cannon vibes oh my gosh stop uh, there are paid stuff packs and expansion packs, which are like 5 to 20. Yeah, I I feel like you can wait for them to go on sale, though. I got like a backyard pack for free recently because I just started playing again. So I was like, okay. Um, I don't think modders can legally make you pay for mods, but they can hide them behind temporary paywalls like Patreon. Oh, interesting. Um... Yeah, I also just, uh, I think, like, how I'm going to get my fix for Sims 4 is just watching a speed builds. I love, I used to watch them all the time. Um, there's this one YouTuber I followed all the time. Her name was, like, Deli Grissy. Deli Grissy? Yeah, she was, like, this Australian girl. And I, I used to watch her stuff all the time, and then I just stopped. Um... Sims 4 separated all these occults. Oh no, that's no fun. Um, oh, Savannah, hi, hope you had a good Easter. Yeah, no, it was nice, very chill. Um, chill to the point where I really need to catch up on work. <laughs> we are wanting to grind, so. I need to stop getting so distracted with games. <laughs> Which is so funny because I was like, guys, I should play Stardew. Um, but we really shan't. Um, my last bit, I cut the Italian bind off to rip back is probably hard to watch. Oof. I have never, I don't think I've successfully completed watching someone rip off an Italian bind off from cutting it. That would just hurt my soul. Um... My confession is I've never played Sims, and that is A-OK. -okay. I I think my, we had like a family friend living here when I was like so young, and she, she got the first Sims, and that was the most iconic thing ever. Um, it changed my entire life. My sister played it. I would watch my sister play it all the time and just completely be so engrossed with it. It was so funny. Uh, I don't even know why. I don't even know what my sister was doing that made me just, I think just watching her build the homes and just do, live these lives. I was like, wow. 
And then we got Sims 2. And we got Sims 3. Oh, gosh. Hi, Destroy, what's going on? We're just talking about Sims. I don't even know. It's been like 30 minutes. I swear that's all we've been talking about. I'm so sorry if no one knows. Um, oh, yeah, the base game is free. Oh, that's cool. For Sims 3. Sims 4 base game is free too? Wow, that's really cool. Um, we don't even have fairies in the Sims yet. <laughs> um, Kate Emerald makes insane builds. Jelly Gressy and James Turner. Okay, okay. Um, I would die if a Sims 5 came out, but it, it really will be the end of me. Um, I only played Sims Vet back on the original Nintendo DS. Dude, I... That, like, the initial Sims, like, it, I played, like, everything. I played My Sims on the Wii. Oh, My Sims on the Wii was so cute. I played, like, My Sims on, like, the DS. I played, like, the Sims app. Like, they're working on Sims 5 right now. Yeah, for sure. They gotta, like, beat the other competition because people are coming for the simulation type game. Um, back in the day, you had to buy the Sims on CD. <laughs> yeah. Thinking how much money I spent on that game I barely play is kind of insane. Just hatched a new chicken stardew. Aw. Uh, any name suggestions? I used to name my animals like the dumbest things. It would be like, I think I named one chick one time. <laughs> um, I was playing yarn chicken already, so I didn't want to waste yarn. Oh, shoot. Someone said how much. Um, oh shoot, someone said how many grams they said. Oh no, I missed it. Is 200 grams on three and a half enough for a tank top? I don't know. Um, I don't know because I don't know again how many meters is left, but it really depends. Um, I'm halfway through my cloud sweater in Noro. Oh my gosh, sake! I only got two skeins thinking I'd get more later, but obs, it's nowhere to be found. Such a scarcity of a yarn, so I want to keep knitting it. Yeah, it, it is crazy. I Even my supplier, I can't even get it um, in the store right now. Um, so excited for Para Lives and Life by You. I wonder what Life by You is. I want the Aizoi one. Aizo? Inzoi, I don't remember. Um, that one looks really cool. OMG, that Sims game where you were deserted on an island. Oh my god, I love that one. Oh my god, I loved Sims Medieval. Stop, 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 stop. We're not gonna get into it, guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna devote my entire life in being into. Oh my gosh, there was this one Sims where you could like, you could own, you can own a hotel, like a beach hotel one. I wanted that one so bad, but I had to watch someone play it um, because I was like 15. <laughs> and the herbs, what is herbs? I only have 100 grams, 270 meters of fine yarn. How many is what I can do? Uh, so that's 130 sport weights. So you have two sport weights, maybe only like a hat or like a Sophie scarf, something small like that. My, my BF named his started chicken after different kinds of chicken foods like rotisserie. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's very funny. Um, and iconic. I mean, horrific, but you'll never forget. Um, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, 100 grams of figure weight can definitely make a crop top at the very least. My sheep names are all named sheep, but with swap vowels. Oh no, but then will you run out of sheep? No, I guess it's like enough. Shoop, ship, shop, shipe, shop. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so we got the top, we got the neckline. On to the body. On to the very nice little body. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. I wanted to knit a little. Okay, how about we knit at the end and then I just unravel right now. <sighs> OMG Sims Medieval was so cool, but 11 year old me couldn't understand English. Lately in Stardew, I just use the randomizer to name my animals and choose whatever's funniest. I have a pig named Bro who ended up having a baby. <laughs> um very nice. I don't like when Sims 
simulation games are too realistic looking. Love the design of Sims 4. Mm, I remember being so against Sims 4 just because it was so left field from Sims 3. I like loved Sims 3. Uh, like, and I didn't mind the jump from Sims 2 to Sims 3. And I also didn't mind the jump from Sims 1 to Sims 2. Uh, I love that they still have um, the storyline for um, Bella Mortimer. I think that's the people. I loved them. I used to play them many a times. Um, okay, I'm going to take this off. Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel literally so free <laughs> unraveling this. It has just been kind of cooped up here and I'm just so ready for me to like use up this yarn and like live in it. What sweater are you frogging? I'm sweat. I'm frogging. I don't know if you recognize, but this is sweater number 16. I never finished it. So I never did the arms. I never finished the body. I'd finished the neckline, but I just didn't think I was going to like how this looked like. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, maybe I think I'm into like really tall necklines, like turtlenecks, but I think just cause this one was ribbing, it looked really funny and like tight fitted and not the way I wanted. So, um, Maybe again, I'm also just not like a ribbing neck type girl. Um, so that's okay. And I don't mind having knit this. It was a great experience. Uh, and I'm happy to reuse the yarn and experience something new and make a new pattern. Um, Hey, I have a job interview tomorrow, so excited, but I'm knitting my summer top even though it's raining and snowing right now. Same Z's. I've been making so many summer tops and yet it is not, it is not. Oh, there's an electric noise. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. A mosquito noise. Okay, not good. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna gone now. It stopped. Don't hear it. It came back. Gone. Um. I don't want to touch it again. gone it stops when I stop the video came back gone again it's gone okay we're not touching it because I, I did I literally I touched it a little bit and then that's when everyone said it was coming so if it's gone we're never touching it again is the answer um yeah I think I'm gonna have to do something with this cable or get a new mic which is like not my favorite thing but really don't have to do anything about it because we want stream. Um, like I get that these don't last forever and I guess we have been streaming for quite a while. Like I use this mic like very often. So I think that makes sense that she should be replaced, but alas, annoying. Okay, sorry, I'll go back to some things, okay. Oh wait, why are you unraveling her? I still really wanna make one. I just can't see myself ever picking it up again. Like it's just like forever banished on my frog island. And I just, I think I tried it on once and I didn't love the fit. I don't love like this ribbing. I just don't think I'm a fan of this ribbing on like a full body. I, that, it's very similar to the, um, the Dima shorts or the Dima pants. I did not love the ribbing of that and I didn't love like the ribbing of, sorry, I'm burping, uh, of uh, the shorts number one and sh top the camisole number six or something. Um, so maybe I just don't love like rib anything. Um, 
so just thought to use this i don't think the alpaca i used was a great choice either just because like i don't think the drape is gonna look very nice so i say why not um i think that style would be better as a dress tbh um I don't know. Did y'all make yourself a Sims? I recently made me and my boyfriend the betrayal I felt when my Sims boyfriend didn't say yes to my proposal. Wild. I always have to make sure that their like bars are like a hundred percent before I try anything. Um, okay, and I think I am up to date. Lovely. Um, it's like they just the cables of the cable connection. For me, it sounded like a phone vibrating. Okay, your girl, put the phone away. I actually, don't even know where my phone is. Oh, that's hilarious. My phone is somewhere else. Um, so hopefully it's not there. Um, I just saw a video saying the inner ear piercing you have prevents migraines. Uh, I've also heard that. Um, it's this guy. Your girl still gets migraines. Um, but again, I also didn't get this piercing because I had migraines. Um, I don't really, I don't know. I'm not educated enough about it but i have also heard that um uh, a stocking it girly through and through i know i i always tell myself like tiffany like let's try let's do something let's try something a little bit different um and i just never wear them but i do want to like i want to incorporate maybe like one or two cables i want to do i want to do i want to redo my cable sweater uh, pattern because most of it is stockinette anyway um and i have this really adorable idea that i think would just turn out so beautifully so if we could do that i would cry um and yeah just incorporating like small textures that i think that i like i mean don't get me wrong i love my ingrid so lass Vancouver's a bad place for migraines, I've heard. Interesting. My migraines have never come back ever since I had my jaw surgery. Oh, wow, that's really great. Um, are migraines a Vancouver thing? Maybe because there's so many mountains. <laughs> Same here. I just love stockinette, but love the idea of texture, maybe color work. Yeah, I think I got to slowly jump into it. Like this mold, we're, we're, barely, we're barely okay with this and it's stockinette. So um, I think slowly incorporating fun little things into the patterns that I make are lovely and um you know there's nothing okay this looks like an egg now um but there's nothing wrong with just doing talking that I think a lot of people are like oh you should do more like fun stuff you should do more unique things and that's just like not what I'm about and I know I'm not gonna wear it so I think it's best just to follow my heart um I get migraines often, but I think it's because of the allergies. Oof. I just like the idea of practicality. Like, because they're easier to knit? Um, doing more unique things can make knitting less meditative, so it makes sense. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um... But I will say I love all my socks. <laughs> like, my socks look so cool. Um, the ones that I've done with all, like, the fun little stuff on it. Um, what is the marled piece? It was just something I was working on slowly. And then, again, banished her. Because once it's, like, out of sight, it's, like, out of my mind, literally. Um, and so I just want to make a top. I would like to pick it up again. And the needles are so sharp that I'm like, yes, please. Uh, I'm also happy I freed up a needle uh, with this guy. So I'm like wanting to make more, again, tops, uh, just cause tops are really fun and I'm like really inspired by a lot of things. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Um, easier just grab and wear with whatever. Like I wanna make the mesh, my favorite things at one, but like, do I? Oh, I see what you mean. Um, no, yeah, I think stockinette, it's just, like, really easy to style. It's really easy, like, because I know I'm going to wear them. It's just, like, something I can just, like, put on and know, like, oh, I can just put, like, jeans, like, a white t-shirt under and, like, a trench coat, and I'm, like, good to go. Stick with what your heart tells you to make. If you love stockinette, the people love it, too. Love. I hate migraines for me. It's pretty much always stress, mood, related, and hormonal. 
Um, yeah, I find with mine, I actually don't know why they come. I would love to know. Um, but they happen and I get like, um, ocular auras, visual auras. And it's always so annoying. It's like, oh, because once the aura comes, you like can't do anything. And then when it goes away, there's like a brief period where everything's fine. And then after that, everything is not fine. And then I have to like sleep. <laughs> I love doing lace, but I can never do more than five rows because I don't want to focus for that long. Hmm. Uh, a typical summer collection, you can name it after beach towns. <laughs> the Tofino top, oh, that's so cute. Or like, uh, Eucluit, that would also be cute. Oh, that'd be so cute. But I'm thinking my tops as of right now, I'm gonna do the days of the week because haha, uh, I want to. So currently we have the typical Thursday top, we have the typical Tuesday top and the typical Friday top. So I guess I need Monday and Wednesday. I guess Saturday, Sunday. So I have at least four tops I can do like that. Um, but would love to also do beach towns as well. Or just any town really. Um, the, uh, the navy button up is the Thursday one. Should probably release them slowly because then people will get confused by the dates. <laughs> Um, hi chat, sorry I'm late. I got, I get ocular migraines as well. Ooh, ocular migraines. I don't know what an ocular migraine is, but I can only imagine it being the absolute worst thing in the entire world. Um, I'm on medication for my migraines, but it makes me so drowsy, literally puts me to sleep. Maybe that's like the only thing you can like do is just like fall asleep and like let it pass, which is like so annoying. Um, knitting the Trickling Triangle Shawl by Stefan West. Great first lace project for me, love. Brittany Bathgate mentioned you in her new video. Yeah, I heard, I haven't seen it. Um, but that, I love that. I love that she's excited for the pattern. I feel like there's a lot of people who are really excited for the pattern and um, it makes me like want to get it out sooner and you know, have it tested and um, be out there for you guys to try because I love seeing everyone's chorizos like I can't wait to see everyone's typical sweaters and like if we can get the other one out too I would love to see everyone like it's like so nice like it's weird first of all to see people make things that I just like came up with um, in my head and like wrote down um, is she testing for you? Dude, I honestly do think I should ask her, guys. <laughs> I don't want to put, like, that pressure on her, though, because, um, test knits, you have to, um, you know, like, there's a timeline, and, you know, you have to make sure that you get it out, and I know that can be, like, super stressful. Um, oh, did I say Brittany Bathgate? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I say Brittany Bathgate? Oh, gosh. I'm just... She's always on my mind, I guess. Um, yeah, she just mentioned the Thursday top. Um, dude, guys. God, Brittany. I'm so sorry. Wait. I met Bethany. Oh my gosh. Guys. I'm not okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, Bethany mentioned me in her video. Um... And she, I think, I also haven't seen it though. Tiff needs a nap, literally. Um, and yeah, she just mentioned the Thursday top. So very happy about that. Um, so excited for the simple sweater, yes. Tiff, y'all are deaf, distant knitting friends. Worst case she says no. I feel like that's the thing though. Like I feel bad. I'm not one to like ask people to do test knits who are kind of like in the knitting community because I always find it like quite, I don't know, weird. Like I never want to put that type of pressure on anyone. Um, my whole stash is in the freezer. I found bugs in the yard. That is the scariest thing ever. Um, I'm just gonna pretend like that's not gonna happen to me and I hope, I hope, I hope you're good. Um, 
I would have applied for the test net if I had known. I've got so many whips right now. Yeah, and like, that's totally understandable. Uh, finally remembered, Haiku finally remembered I'd been smitten with the mittens you knitted for me. Alrighty, my dude. Um, it's not putting pressure in my opinion, but you can always just put a call out. She'll apply if she wants. For sure, yeah. I'll just put, I'll just, I'll just advertise the shit out of it and see, uh, who applies, really. Um, I just wonder if she'll make it right now because she's pregnant. That is very true. Um, yeah, she's having her second baby. That's crazy. Um, I don't know why, but I swear I just thought she just had a baby. So, but then that makes sense, like, because you usually want it, like, two years in between and, like, ugh. Um, yeah. And that's already... Dang, I am out of the loop. Yeah, I think I saw it. I think I was watching one of her videos maybe and she looked pregnant. I was like, oh. Because I don't think she did like a full on announcement versus like the first one. I watched Bethany Bethany's video earlier. She did a video on a 10 pattern she saved recently. She sounded excited about the eventual release. Oh, cute. Um, I'm almost halfway through the back yoke of my Stockholm v-neck and I'm so ready to start the shoulders. Oh my gosh, she's 30 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh. That's very prego. Um, she's very pregnant. Um, off topic, to do Italian buy enough on 2x2, two two, do you have to rearrange the stitches? Is there another way I'm missing that anyone else knows? I think there is a way you can switch them. Do I know the method? No. Um, but usually I will switch the stitches, yes. It's not the end of the world, it just takes like a little bit more time. Um, progging half asleep for the second time, can't get the treat, <laughs> uh, can't get the decreases to look nice in waffle stitch. Waffle stitch. Hmm, that is a toughie. Uh, everyone seems to be having babies right now. I agree. I just keep seeing it on my feed. Is this just like the perfect time that people be doing it? Um, but yeah, no, I remember, I think we talked about it. It was like freaking me out a little, but that's fine. Uh, 2024 spring summer trend prediction babies, <laughs> honestly. Um, except I will not be following that trend. Uh, I can't watch most podcasts anymore because they're all the same patterns. Oh, are they really? Wait, what patterns is everyone talking about? I feel like I am also so out of the loop. Like I don't watch a lot of um podcasts because i also find that everyone's like making the same thing so i just like i don't listen but i'm curious to know like what is like the new up and coming because i also think the only times i see things that are like trending it's like uh when i go on the discord and i see everyone's making like the celeste or everyone's making the ingrid but i think like we're like a very specific pool of people uh, i don't know like the greater outer circle <laughs> i always just assume everyone's doing petite net um oh summer day series oh my gosh tar yes wait i gotta write that down i'm writing that down guys i'm writing that down the summer days i don't know how i'm gonna like put this in the store and like say that these are all collections guys i don't know how we're gonna do this um they always been they wait they've always been the same patterns not necessarily in a bad way um yes it's baby season do it i have three kids all aged five and under and i already want another one damn damn guess it is just baby season um this girl I used to be friends with in high school is Prego with her second. And it makes me laugh because meanwhile, there's me d neck deep in a Stardew obsession. Um, yeah, like literally I just played Sims uh, this weekend. I don't know. I really can't. Um, what are the podcasts that you guys listen to? Uh, everyone seems to be trying to branch out for the summer, thankfully. Okay, okay. Lovely. The chicken stuffy, something like something by Sorry Nordland, then something by Petite Knit. The cycle repeats. <laughs> Yeah, they're all making the same things, but I still have it playing in the background so you guys get that check. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all making the same. Oh, I read that one. Oh, God, yeah, the emotional support chicken. I want one, but I don't. Okay, yeah, I... That's so funny. I feel like you guys are the ones... You guys, you guys keep me young. Um, letting me know what's, like, um, new.
Uh, I feel like everyone is making Cardigan 9. Is that the new one she just came out with? Is it out yet? I don't know. I've just been seeing her taking photos of it. Um, Nina is doing the Ori oh, Orelia sweater. I'll def cast that on when she's done and gives a good review. Um, everyone I know is getting engaged like once a week. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cardigan 9 is out now. Damn, she's fast with her test knits. God, I feel like I'm so slow. Um, no, if I'm chronically online, it's bad. No, but you, you let me know. Because I have no idea. Um, I got a migraine while out today. Eventually hit the nausea spot and the headache. Oh, and my BF was all question marks. Oh, does he not know? Um... I want to make the rat that was big last year, two years ago. The rat. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about no rat. I think someone 100% told me though. And I am negative on those rats. Um, you have an emotional support chicken bag. I really do. I do have that bag. Um, I have never used it though. Um, so I definitely don't need to knit another one. Oh, so unraveling this has so many fibers. <sighs> I'm gonna unravel it maybe a little slower and maybe things will be a little better um yeah i don't know the rat either either i uh, i love me a rat though uh i hate being at the age of people getting married i still think when people get pregnant pregnant it's a teenage pregnancy oh it's still a teenage pregnancy for me too i'm 27 um I'm also casting on Cardigan 9 soon in the same red color she used. Ooh, the red is very nice though, so I get it. Um, I feel old 30 because everyone I know has already been married for years. I got married last year and, and is now having babies. I mean, again, everyone's at their own pace. Like, it's so unfortunate to, like, compare yourself to other people and, like, the milestones that they're making, but I'm just here knitting and I'm good with that. Um... My partner and I are engaged, but we have been together for five years. We ain't becoming parents. I'm a baby. <laughs> One of my friends just bought a house. Damn. Yeah, people are, like, buying homes. Like, they're paying for weddings. And I'm like, where? We're the same age, right? <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> they, they let children buy houses now? Crazy. Yeah, like, when my friends, like, most of them know how to drive. Okay. Granted, I do technically know how to drive, but I do not drive actively because, again, I work from home. And I'm like, my friends are allowed to drive. These people, these, like, all my friends I used to have, I, I do have, like, I've known since, like, high school or elementary school. I'm like, you're a child. How are you allowed to drive a car? Uh, my dog is my baby. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm a 28-year-old teenager. What do you mean I should have a baby? <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, I'm not allowed to have a baby not allowed to take care of another human like that um so like me thinking about like back in the day when like um like grandparent my like my grandparents were like 22 like 23 or like 21 getting married i'm like oh my gosh you have not even lived a life um i'm living free being able to enjoy my bow without being bothered by anyone all my co-workers are getting married this year Last year, the women all hell had children. This year, the men are getting married. Mmm, interesting, interesting. I'm straight up about to move into my parents' basement. <laughs> I mean, me. Um, you have the excuse of your BF still being in school. Very true. Yeah, I think, like, if he was working, I think things would be maybe a little bit different. Um, driving is not that great. Driving is the worst, and that's why I don't do it. Uh, lol, we didn't pay for a wedding. We saved that money for a honeymoon. That is goals um girl i still live at home i don't think i'm leaving soon i don't know about paying rent in this economy dude this economy i get so, like people are like have you seen on tiktok people be like this is how much i spend in a month and like they're like realistic like budgeting for the month and people are spending like five thousand dollars to live and i'm like where what do you do and are you doing something shady <laughs> because how um or like you have to be lying there's just no way um 
my bestie has a baby and a mortgage and a fiance. I live at home with my parents and work at McDonald's at 26. And that, we love that. We love that for you. McDonald's, give me all the recipes so then we can just make them at home. Uh, even though I think you just, I, I don't know if, if, if you just, if like franchises, do they just buy it all frozen and then just heat it up and then give it to you? I don't know how it works. Um, my grandma had my oldest uncle when she was 15. The olden days were something else. That is so scary. If I had to live like that, no thank you. Um, my partner is aging out of their parents' health insurance. So now we're thinking about getting domestically partnered for insurance purposes. Honestly, yeah, I'm like not under my parents' insurance anymore, which is devastating. Like I have to pay for my own dentist. And sometimes I'm like, this is not, it's not worth it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think my mom was around my age when she had me, her sixth kid. Damn. I just realized my grandma had my mom when she was my age, 20. No, this economy is no joke. Yeah. Got married at 20. Best decision ever if you find the right person. Oh, that's really cute. Um, that feeling when, uh, there, what I spend in a week is more my monthly paycheck. <laughs> I'm proud of anyone who has kids. That's impressive. It's like both like financially impressive but also like mentally physically um i don't know how anyone has like the patience to have children um the economy is so piss poor and the government has spent months trying to convince us that that it's an employee job market there is nothing out there no i'm a i'm 30 a professor and i have students whose parents are 34 insane Wait a second, a professor? Then you have to be at the, then you have to be at least teaching nineteen-year-olds. What? Um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Sorry, you can't even see the progress. We're, we're doing the yoke now. Doing the yoke, guys. Yoking it up. I think people are really into quiet luxury these days, like not disclosing things like generational wealth. Oh. I see. It's stormy here. My dog wanted out of my room so bad I let her out, but then the thunder got really loud. Oh, oh. Uh, my parents, no, my partner's grandparents are, got married after three months at 21. Bold. Bold. People were really crazy back then. Um, the dentist is so expensive. It is no joke, okay? My dentist, I mean, okay, this is just me like, ranting but like they do me well they check my teeth fine but like they cleaned it she flossed me a little and then uh, my my dentist just like checked he's like yeah you're good to go and I was like what you gotta tell me like I have a cavity or something or like something's wrong like I just felt like me spending like 200 bucks like there has to be something more than just you cleaning my teeth I need to get like a full experience um, uh, I joke that I married my wife with health care because I'm self-employed and she has job, she has a job with benefits. I, yeah, that is also, maybe I should push my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that we should get married so I can get benefits. That's hilarious. Um, no, I'll just continue paying my dentist. Oh my God, is it Discord already? <gasps> oh my gosh, two. Oh my god, this is all I've gotten to. Okay, okay. Uh, before I got married, I was paying 400 a month for trash health insurance. It literally had a 9K deductible, so it felt like paying to be uninsured. I married my husband after dating him for only two months, going on six years. Oh my gosh. Okay, but how do you know? Okay, and then literally the song. When, uh, when you know. No, wait. Am I thinking of the wrong? When you know, you know. Isn't that a song? <laughs> anyway anyway <laughs> how do you know um the biggest bane of my existence of budgeting videos is the one for student budget based on loan payments um my loan goes entirely on my tuition and my rent i have nothing left over oh my god how do you live yes okay i was thinking of the right thing okay thank goodness gracious um, some women straight up didn't plan a life beyond being a mother. Mm. Um, it's the TikTok song. You know. You know. She knows. 
anyway, okay. Uh, screen share. Lovely, lovely. Um, wait, this got it. What is happening? Should I do this? Nope. Should I do? No. Interesting. Why is there a black bar right there? Oh, is this why? Okay. Alrighty. There you go. Give it more space. Okay. <laughs> Where's the Sims Rosebud cheat code for real life? Oh, please. Okay. This is also the mesh top. Okay. This is from the 28th. Mesh top. What is that mesh? Me trying to decipher this mesh? Love it. Um, I admire your lack of open tabs. I refuse. I, my boyfriend, he'll have like... 30 tabs open all at once i can't i am a i'm a two i'm a three four tab type of girl if it's more than 10 i get so stressed i will um command quit everything just so i can start again okay working on my first raglan top i'm still a beginner and kind of unsure on the fit but i'm proud of how it's looking so far and that is all that matters. I think your first ones are always going to be kind of trial and error. It's okay if it doesn't come out amazing. It's just practice, in my opinion. And if you don't like it, you can always unravel it into yarn, like, later in life. Um, or, like, later down the road uh, when you've gotten better. And you just, like, see where you come. Like, I look at so many pieces that I made when I was first starting. And they were just, like, so not me anymore. Like, I'm just so much better and just like upgrading your patterns and like working through them is so um rewarding uh me with like 50 tabs on the same doc stop i'm a tabs groups girly i have like 100 tabs open right now i have over 100 on my phone no 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 i have like 500 tabs fight me oh my gosh my guys how do you how does your how does your computer not just like immediately die um, I can't have that. That, that is so stressful to me. Um, ooh, scrunchy. So thick and beautiful. Love. Um, okay, April 2nd, that is today. Oh my god, stunning. I won't make it to the stream today, but I wanted to show off the two headpieces I made last week, this week. I cannot describe how much I love this flipping headband. So good. Also, I'm in love with your eye color. Stop. Gorgeous. Um, I got a powerful computer on purpose. <laughs> and the opposite, I have like two right now, less than five at almost all times. Same. Finished the baby bear suit by Knitting for Olive um, this week. She isn't born yet and won't be wearing it until the next winter. So I'm excited to see her in it. Aw. We love a prepared queen. I went thrifting the other day. And um, I think starting now, I have to start looking at <laughs> the baby section because it's so cute. Like I found this Ralph Lauren, like quilted baby kind of like suit like this. It is the most luxe thing I've ever seen. And, um, that was probably my first like baby purchase, even though I literally don't have a baby, but someone on the stream said, someone on the discord said that they were making baby outfits. Um, for their future baby who has not been born yet uh and i think i need to do that now i think i really need to do that um so i should i want to start doing that maybe like once the typical sweater is out i might make a typical baby sweater dreams okay anyway <laughs> ralph lauren baby clothes yeah i love thrifting baby clothes because it makes more sense to me like to buy like new baby clothes when like the baby's just gonna grow out of it i saw like the cutest little shoes too okay anyway get it away from me i'm i'm a child um almost done with the first sleeve of my dot sweater i think it's looking pretty good i'm very proud of myself Ooh, yes yes oh my god we love oh i love love yes stunning oh my god the makeup gorgeous so beautiful um so far i randomly got rid of the many tabs i had without a warning one time i yeah, I feel like, oh, that would happen, and I I don't care, because I don't have that many tabs. Um, OMG, do you guys have baby knits? I have a baby in my life I can knit for, finally. I don't have, I don't have, and I want to make. I don't plan on having a baby, so considering making bear, build the bear clothes, smart, as you should, make clothes for my plushies. 
Also, as you should. Oh, I still need to make a teddy. Oh, we'll get to it. Um, also, I'm loving this. Sorry, that's why it's just staying on here. The mackerel. Completed a test swatch for the color work section of a fish-themed sweater I'm working on. Okay, question. How is this a swatch? This is just an entire piece. You just knit the sweater. Please tell me that you don't have to knit the whole sweater and then re redo this color work section because then that is just evil but it's so cool <laughs> uh my sonia sweater progress inspired oh yes by the kids holger sweater can't wait to finish the body and start on the arms i'm using drop alaska oh is this um please tell me this is almond or the toffee or whatever i i want that color um Working on some cross-stitch pattern designs and knitting on my Stockholm V-neck sweater. Oh, in that green? Oh, yummy. Oh, you finally opened it. I hope you're loving it. Oh, my gosh. Um, if it force closes, I restore the tabs. That's crazy behavior. I love that. Um, my neighbor just had a baby, so I gifted her a baby blanket. Oh, so sweet. Um, my bestie just had a baby, and since she's the only one I'm close enough to actually gift it for, she gets all my baby knits. Oh, so sweet. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um working on my Hilda sweater. I dyed the yarn in January and have unraveled the sweater 10 times, but this time I think it's going to be perfect. Yes. Do you have the pattern book? Dude, I don't think it's in English yet, so I will not have it yet. Um, I still need to make a head for the little Teddy keychain pattern you made. <laughs> um, my sister is prego and my mom and I are going crazy thinking about what to knit the little dude. Oh, that's so cool. The Alaska's toffee and wheat. I knew it was toffee, dude. I knew it. I felt it. Stay hydrated. Yes, everyone drink while I go through these. Um, I've started a sweater for my mom in a really chunky yarn. She really loves it. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, so cool. Love the raglan. Very clean. I like that raglan. Um, especially top down. It looks like it's did top up. I mean, bottom up. Um, I don't know how I'd react if my sister had a baby. Such a wild concept. She'd be a great mom, though. Oh, yeah, I can't imagine my sister. Alas. Working on the summer core dress for Era's tour Stockholm. Nice. This looks like big enough needles that the dress would not be hard to make at all. So we love. Oh my god, look at all these stripes. Knitting a donation sock. I have now knitted 27 pairs of socks for donation, but I love this. Oh my gosh, you are actually you are God's gift to this world. That is so sweet. And so lovely. That I love that. Are you using like um a bunch of your like scraps? Because I love that. Um do you have one sister? Yeah, I just have one sister. Um, tears in my eyes because I feel like I'm never going to finish the body. Oh, you got this. I mean, I feel you. I feel you though. You having to alternate, like you're doing essentially like a ribbing, but the ribbing is alternating and then also having to do this crazy. Like that. Yeah. Like at this point, she's not therapeutic to me. Um, eight millimeters. It's like half a day's worth of progress. Damn. That's like good though. Um, the birth rate is declining with this generation. I wonder why. The answer is I wonder why. I've been, um, what did I watch the other day that was talking about the 4B four, four movement? Is that what it says? Or 4D movement? No, I think it's B. Uh, I read up on it. It was very interesting. Uh, yeah, no one can afford it. Um, just started a naked knit bralette, test knit in cashmere. <gasps> so beautiful. I don't know how it looks like. I don't think I looked... Unless it's a secret test knit, but it is. I can only imagine it being so lovely to knit up with cashmere. Stop. I do need to unravel my Elizabeth blouse. I want to. Un I really want to unravel it so bad. Um, working on the right shoulder of the storm. That's crazy. I feel like the storm's been out for so long. Um, but love. Hey Tiff, I'm a plus size girly and I'm wanting to knit my first raglan. Do you have any idea on an inclusive pattern going for Aaron or Worsted? Um, uh, okay. I think I would go just like off the top of my head. Hate to always 
bring her up, but Petite Knit, I find that um, she, like a lot of her patterns are quite consistent. Like they always usually go up to 5XL. Um, and you can always like trust that it'll be um, like it'll work. Um, step by step sweater, love. Um, and her things usually run large anyway. Um, and yeah, that's like the one I can think of at the moment. Uh, 4B, yes, no dating, cis men, no marriage, no kids. <laughs> um, what do the B stand for? Yeah, the B stand for like essentially what Ambrose said. Um, and all of those things start with a B in Korean. That's why it is because it was started in Korea. Uh, off topic, but I need to watch the Nickelodeon doc. I need to watch that too. Um, someone said it, or a bunch of you guys told me to watch it, and I haven't had the chance. I'm trying to think of if I've started anything else now. Um, like, the only way I watched a movie was yesterday, and it was because my friends wanted to watch it, and that was the only way I was allowed to watch a movie. <laughs> um, knitting the Wanaka sweater by Andy Knit, love. Very nice, very nice, love this orange color. I don't know where you can watch it in Canada. Oh, that's very true. Maybe that's why I've not been finding it. Um, oh, I love the swatch of this, so nice. Cast on the dappled lace raglan. Yeah, block my ester, beautiful. Just finished the rib cut pouch. Oh, that's also so cute. Oh, the swatch is beautiful. I'm not swatch, the unblocking. Discovery Plus in Canada, okay. Um, made in the moment has made two measure raglan that's super beginner friendly, and since it's made a measure, it can be any yarn or size you want. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's one of my worst fears that I won't be able to afford to have a child. I've always wanted to be a mom, but cannot even be to begin to visualize how I'd be able to afford that. I also think it's crazy. Um, I feel like I'd have to, like, think of, like, ways to not have it be so expensive. But I don't even know what you would not do. Anyway, uh... Knitted by Whitney has some really good videos recommending size inclusive patterns. Yes, and um, I'm trying to think. Oh, sorry, Nordland. I feel like would 100% have really good ones, sizing wise. Um, it's just a bunch of Braglin, but again, they're like cabled, so that's why it's hard for me to recommend her sometimes because it's not like what everyone wants. Um, blocked my drop sweater last time I was here, and here's what it looks like on. Love it. Hills Vog Soul is my new fave yarn. Okay. You sold me. You sold me. And I am the best. Okay. Finally finished my folklore cardigan with Drops Daisy. The fabric is pretty drapey, flo floppy. Like people mentioned, but honestly, I feel like it works well with this project. Can't comment on the pilling situation yet, but hopefully it doesn't, it isn't that terrible. Gorgeous. I think looks great. I, I do really like the look of like the two band contrast color. I find that it makes it look super preppy. Um, I've knit the flex sweater for myself into 2X so I confirm it can confirm it worked for me. Okay. I never knit her patterns, but I have a couple, but I think Jacqueline, ooh, don't know how to say that, is meant to have really size inclusive patterns. Okay. Too much streaming apps that cost an arm and a leg to use. Speaking of streaming, the future of Euphoria is not looking so good. Wait, why? I actually like the show enough to care to watch it illegally. Okay. Streaming literally made the entertainment industry worse. Oh no. Um, been so busy, but I finished the body and first sleeve of my striped sweater. Oh my gosh, it's crochet. Stop. Second sleeve, not much yet. And all my March yarn purchases, I need to stop literally for the rest of the year. Plus Sorella pre-ordered that I already that arrived recently okay let's look let's look got a little sock set queensland hey hey i got some queensland so that's lovely excuse me um and i don't know these other brands but love it finished the january sock and cast on a second mini moth neck top oh my gosh yes love 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 um blocking my first test knit checkered vest 
for Megan Faith Makes. Oh my gosh. I love that like so many of you guys are testers. It's like so cool. Um, love. Would love to see how that looks. Love the red and the white. Uh, physical ownership is where it's at. Um, I'm getting really into physical media. Went and bought some CDs today. Whoa. Imagine we bring back DVDs. Imagine. Um, Zendaya hates the script. HBO hates Zendaya's ideas. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That's crazy. Like, like, um, are the actors allowed to have a lot of say? Um, Onto the ripping of my vest. Want it to be real long, I think. Oh, I would love. Yeah. Dude, love the moss. If it is a moss. It is great. Um, by the way, Tiff, everyone loves all the yarn I use from you and they want it. <laughs> uh, tragic for them, but awesome for me that it's limited edition. <laughs> yeah, no, literally my yarn is so limited edition. I'm like not even making them anymore. Um, but... I was packaging the Patreon yarns now and I, it like made me kind of like re-fall in love with like the whole process. I just need to like make it like easier, like an easier flow for me. Um, cause I find that I get stuck in a lot of like the in-between times. Um, so maybe. I don't have the heart to tell them you stop dying. Just tell them I'm on a hiatus. <laughs> We're on a little pause. Um, but I want to bring it back. Like I love, I love it so much and it's just so nice creating. I think I just want it to be a little bit more like streamlined and also I would like it to be more consistent. I find like the hand dyeing I was doing was very like everyone was unique. It was, it was like hard for me to dye up, um, consistent skeins that you could use in like bigger pieces so I want to be able to like I want to get a steamer uh but they're like quite it's quite a big purchase and um you need quite a lot of electricity to run them um but if I could get like a little like studio space like my my dad was like yeah like we could like turn the backyard into like a little shop so uh if I can get that that would be lovely <laughs> Um, the steamer would make blocking easier too. Yes. Uh, I went from never knitting, never testing to getting into four test knits in two months. It's a wild turn of events for sure. Um, she's a producer now, so she's power. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel like wrong time to become a producer. Still in the test knit. Uh, I think I have two more rows of the pink stripe to do than I can do with the hem. Nice. Um, steaked the armholes steaked of my lily hammer or lil hammer and re-knitting the contrast band of the arms so it contrasts so it contains overall lighter hues also finishing my twist loop tank today but haven't won the ends yet wait why do you have to um is there a reason why you have to steak the arm holes sorry i don't i don't know why that's like not adding up to me um OMG Papa Bliss is so sweet. He's going to be devastated when you get married and move out. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Like, that's like another worry is like when I leave this place. Because this place has done me so well. Like, uh, like the space. It's just so much space. Like, the space that I take up is essentially like an apartment. And usually for an apartment you need like a living space um so i can't even imagine how me and my boyfriend would be able to house this in an apartment like i'd actually probably have to get a space or do something um same i got no responses for testament for months then this month i got two that's true like you're kind of like entering like a ton of lotteries and then like if you get chosen you're like oh shit like okay, I gotta do this, but then you apply to so many that you could be chosen for like a billion. You're like, oh my gosh, gotta do them all, I guess. Um, so I feel for you guys. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read. Um, bro, the only reason I'm working on this mainly seed stitch cardi is that it's a test knit. Oh, I see. I'm debating how short I can make the body before it just looks too cropped. Oh, that's so true. Oh, I don't know. 
no whip photo but to disturb tiffany with the numerous tabs ah stop it stop it right now these are just icons these are just how do you even know how do you know how do you know that's not that's not okay also love that you're looking at this um you need to group them. Oh my god, it's so cute little socks. Stop. I'm gonna need to make those. Um, sorry, cable, no joke. Turtle dove shawl in progress. I could never, but it looks so pretty. I hope you wear it. Um, how do people navigate tabs like that? I don't even know. Like, I was on my boyfriend's computer one time and I was like, can I delete this tab? He was like, no. He literally got so offended that I even thought about closing a tab it was crazy i was like you're not even gonna notice it's gone uh and it, like it's probably so like insignificant he's like no all of them mean something and i'm like you're crazy um i recommend getting a house with a basement or two extra rooms on top of your sleep room in an apartment i'm sorry what <laughs> how are we gonna get that girl um that's my emotion emotional support tab um you will have to build a mini addition onto the house for you and your BF. Um, one for craft stuff, one office, and then your personal cozy space is separate. Oh. <laughs> I would not, I would not be able to afford that here. But the dream is uh, real. The body is knit in the round, so then you seek to produce holds for the arms. Oh. So like right here, you just steek the arm, like you just open up the armhole. Interesting. That makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, you don't know that's the thrill of it all. Oh my gosh. I even got overwhelmed when I have more than four tabs open. Yeah, when I can't see the words, I'm like, oh, okay, this is this is not funny anymore. Uh, nothing much to show, but this gorgeous skein of sock yarn I picked up in Yorkshire. Oh, beautiful sock. It's just a sock. Love it. Um, Tiff, don't worry. You aren't moving anytime soon. Dr. Bliss can fund it when he graduates in a billion years for sure. Oh, and this is the last one. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, everybody, uh, for showing me all the things that you guys are making. Um, love that so much. Uh, and never stop because I need to look. I need to, I need to see them all. Okay. I think we're going to switch. Oh, I feel like though I could just keep doing this and we'll finish it. So I feel like we should finish it. It's such a boring stream. I'm so sorry, guys. I've just been like winding this up, but you guys, I feel like the streams are where I can be like consistent and like am forced to do something. So I'm like forced to finish this. Yeah, you're so close. Keep going. That's what I'm feeling as well. I really loved making the turtle dove shawl. I'll be making another one at some point. Ooh. I understand your boyfriend's cause I need all 100 tabs open. They all somehow have importance. Yeah, like that's how I am sometimes with my um, my phone. Like when I open tabs, like if the tab's gone, I'm like, whoa, I needed that. Um, but even then I only maybe have 10 tabs. Um, where is this? Ooh, okay, the ball ended. Um, I'm a serial tab closer. Sometimes I close tabs I meant to be using. Oh, I do that too. But then you just go undo and the tab comes back. The main reason I hate closing tabs is because I have to log in again. Oh, okay. Well, if your tabs are like, you have to log into them, then I guess that's like slightly different. My tab is like, I'm just looking up something or uh, there's like a billion YouTube videos I've just like pulled up. Or I'm just like looking at like a billion Pinterests and then I just have to close them all because then I get really confused. Um, what yarn are you winding up? Um, this yarn, the white one is the whack yarn. I'm pretty sure it's like the baby alpaca. And then this yarn is just a alpaca that I got from Knit Crate, which is no help. I bought like a billion of them because I was like, okay, I'm for sure gonna finish this top. And then I kept running out of yarn um, and then I bought more. So I just have like a billion of them. Um, 
So that's lovely. Would you ever move to the Vancouver suburbs like Surrey? I assume it's cheaper than Vancouver proper, but maybe not. Um, I think it is cheaper, but even then, like, like, I think like a nice house would probably be like a million, which is like a lot of money, but it's like not as much as Vancouver. I don't think I'd ever move to Surrey. Um, maybe... Maybe like Burnaby at best. And yeah, <laughs> that's like, like I, I have thought about like New West as well, but I've heard there's lots of crime there. So we love that. We love that a lot. Same with Surrey. We hear about the crime there and I'm like, what? Um... Man manifesting a house for you and all us young folk yes i dream we can all dream guys um i used to get excited after i had finished an assignment at uni because i could close all the tabs yeah dude that i feel that uh omg i can't wait to finish this term at uni i'm so close to closing the tabs i have to log in even if i left the tab open because be because nope open because my uni system is so strict oh gosh um i want to move to bc but that feels like letting the government of alberta win wait why um that's hilariously okay i can do this i can do this even a condo costs like 700k yeah it's wild it's like who has that money? Who are you selling these places to? Everyone's saying they're in like uni at 2030. Anyone on the stream older or younger than that? Um, but yeah, I like, oh my God, I haven't even packed yet. I have my um, luggage stuff right there. I need to start packing like immediately. Um, there's been a gov of Alberta ads all around Toronto saying move to Alberta. <laughs> Um, also don't feel like you have to say your age either. Um, I remember it was so funny, uh, on Twitch, like you weren't allowed to say if you were like under the certain age, cause you're supposed to be older than a certain age. And we were telling people not to say, <laughs> um, I'm in my forties sad. Oh my gosh, not at all. Oh, we're studying. We love, I love, I would love to think that like in my forties, I would be watching, um, I'd be watching streams and just chilling. Um, they selling to influencers or to make Airbnbs out of them. Oh yes, very true. And we're trying to get rid of Airbnbs here. We're like making the law stricter, but it's also like, okay, I don't think that's the issue because hotel prices are just gonna like skyrocket. Um, and there aren't enough hotel rooms, so they're skyrocketing even more. <sighs> Us just complaining about life. <sighs> it's okay, don't worry about your age, y'all, because my weekly craft group is pretty much all over 50, and I love those ladies so much. Aw. My wife and I want to move to San Francisco because that's where I'm from and we both love it better than LA, but buying a home up there is even more wild than it is here. Really? San Francisco is worse than LA. Damn. My fingers are crossed for the Airbnb bubble to burst. Um, they're selling to landlords too. Oh my gosh, that's so true. Let me buy the house instead of pay for the privilege of living there. Ugh. Airbnb kind of ruined the housing market with their cheap, ugly gray floor renos. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started with the gray floors. I heard my phone buzz, but I don't remember where I put it. Guys, it's fine. Anyway. Uh, my other stream, most people are 40 plus. Oh. Uh, I got a notice of rent increase yesterday and I was like, please be an April Fool's joke. Oh, that's so mean. 
Um, speaking of getting rid of stuff, they're getting rid of Uber and Lyft where I live because they raise minimum wage and Uber and Lyft don't want to pay drivers. Damn. Uber, Uber, Uber. San Francisco is like the most expensive place to live in the US, I think. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. I literally thought it was like New York. Um, my rent is going up too. Only a hundred bucks a month, thankfully, but still. That's crazy, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, times be tough, guys. Um unpopular opinion un unpopular opinion, but I like gray floors. They have to be nice though. <laughs> You are truly wild, but we love you for that. Um, I moved to North Dakota for my professor gig, and even homes here are crazy expensive. Guys, we all just need to move to Arizona. We need to move to the middle of, like, the U.S. And just hate our lives there, but live in the most beautiful homes. I think that's what we need to do. Um, I've been like looking for people my age who knit crochet specifically in my area to make like a group and stuff, but there's no one my age that I found. Um, I don't remember how old you said, but it's totally fine. Um, if you're in uni, I would say, uh, you could try to find people or start a club at uni. Another thing is like, just make friends and like teach them to knit. I think if you can't find people, like make people. <laughs> Sorry, not make people. Or just, like, like get your friends to, like, learn. Uh, let's move to Utah and join a call. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Guys, we start, like, I mean, you guys already know this is a knitting cult. Uh, so um, we can do that. We can live on, like, a big property. Almost, like, sister wives it. Like, have, like, a little cul-de-sac with just, like, a billion homes. <clears throat> I had the flooring in the kitchen and bathroom of an apartment and they said not not to get it wet <laughs> okay um the majority of people i've met my age i read that one it's sad to say but i'm waiting for my aw that's tough um no 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 i refuse to be far from the beach and definitely not florida or anywhere else swampy um let's move to utah i loved arizona so much when i was there but i missed uh, but i missed humidity oh we could just start a cult actually yeah but like the issue is is like with cults they like raise money and they like abuse the people who are in the cults and like take their money like the point is like we want to live um happily together um alberta is the utah of canada we have it all i've been trying to set up a club at my uni but the student union didn't put my posters up oh gross um, Alberta is also the Texas and Florida of Canada. Um, I believe that fully. More of a commune. Okay, well, not that kind of cult. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Scratch that. Commune. That sounds funny, though. What is a commune? I'm just gonna make sure we know exactly what we're signing up for. Commune. A group of people living together and sharing possessions and responsibilities. Oh, wouldn't that be so cute? We have people like growing stuff. Someone can have a farm. Someone can like, we can have like little sheeps and then we like, we like sh shear the sheeps and with the wool and we're just living sustainably and like you get the yarn for free essentially. <laughs> shared farm machinery <laughs> um communism love um i guess that's what we're here for guys uh, a mill perhaps yes yes um commune that does not become a cult though we gotta be careful y'all dude how does it just like naturally happen do you know what i mean like communes that just kind of become cults like how does it just like just like one rotten egg or just like are they all just meant to kind of fail um, is there such thing as an ethical cult? Okay, wait. Cult definition. A system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. Okay, well, the object would be knitting, though. Uh, basically, one really self-centered person. Yeah, normally one dickhead takes charge, for sure. And that's the issue. Just, like, don't, don't have, like, one weirdo <laughs> be the main dude. Um... We just wouldn't have, we just wouldn't do that. Um, 
the leader becomes a dictator thinking they are a godly figure. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is it called? Ethical cult? Oh, checklist. Oh my gosh. There is a thing called the ethical cult. That was not helpful. Okay, we're getting it ready. We're getting, we're getting away from that. Um, we need to go back to hunting and gathering. <laughs> Lol. Guys, knitting was just the beginning. We're going back in time. Um, yeah, I'm just at like a really small school, so it's kind of hard to find people. Like, there's no real groups or anything. I think what you should change the, um, the feel, like, the thing is, like, trying to find people who knit is more like teaching people to knit. So, like, you could hold, like, knitting, like, free knitting uh, teaching lessons kind of thing for like the people in your uni and then like make it kind of like a meet new people and like trying to think new things kind of thing if you're like really into it um because again there aren't a lot of knitters so it's like really nice to um kind of get more people to knit i think that's a great way as well um on do like hulu doc about we work Oh, what's wrong with WeWork? I had no idea it was a low-key cult. <gasps> WeWork? I thought WeWork was just a company that lets you work in the office space. Wait a second. WeWork cult? Am I thinking of the same thing? The cult of We. WeWork. Adam Newman and the great startup delusion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. The body shop is culty too? <gasps> Wait, how? Um, I feel like it usually happens because power gets devoted to one person and people become reliant on that person or a small group of people. Mm. Okay, so we gotta have we gotta have regular group audits. <laughs> are we a cult, guys? Are we? No. And then everyone's just like, no. And then you are, you know? Um, petition to make Petit Knit the leader. Absolutely not. It would immediately become a cult. Immediately. Um, I have to admit, I love those religious cult docs, but it's so sad. It like makes me so sad. Um, that's a good idea. Someone was actually talking to me earlier today about that. Yeah, about teaching. Yeah, I think that's like a great way to get people to um, um, join, and then and then like y your enthusiasm like rubs off on them, and then they just like fall in love with it themselves, kind of thing. Uh, apparently, uh, a body shop totally is. It's crazy that it's just a high street store. Okay, well, I need to watch all these documentaries. My, my like, whole view of things are going to shatter. Body cult. Okay, I'll look at that later. Uh, a lot of startups seem to have that problem. The body shop is an MLM? My aunt, who has been in, like, every MLM, used to be with them. Damn. Body shop is closing in France. They closed so many stores in Canada. Um, any shade on Saskatchewan? Would that be a good commune locale? Probably, but I don't want to be there. <laughs> um, we need Tar to be the leader. She'd keep us all in line. She really would. She would be like, guys, get it together. Um, I'm also weirdly curious about religious cults. I need to learn more about like Mormonism. Not like because, like obviously not because I want to get into it, but like because like why? Um, do MLM fall into cults? Mm, I think cults are more like religious. They share the same qualities but aren't exactly the same. I grew up culty Catholic, so learning about cults is neat to me. My mom was just like more Catholic than the average person. Damn. Yeah, I grew up um, Catholic as well, so I feel like your girl's just like almost hyper aware of like things that feel weirdly religious. Um, there's so much good ex-Mormon content on YouTube. I went down a rabbit hole a few years ago. Like, yeah, I was watching this girl on TikTok who's talking about being an ex-Mormon, and it was just like so many things I didn't realize. Like the undergarment thing was a thing like they were talking about um like how coffee isn't a really big thing in uh like where they live because you're not supposed to drink it and so people drink sodas there or something and then something about like something about like the long hair being like a 
big um, symbol. Anyway, um, you should look into Mennonites. Dude, I used to watch, um, oh, what was that one on TLC where they were like, escaping Mormonism? Oh, what was his name? Like Jeremiah? Oh, um, those were crazy times. I wish the stream topic happened last week. Went to a trivia night over the weekend and the theme was cults. <laughs> uh, I grew up a Jehovah Witness and I consider that at least kind of culty. Oh, for sure. Um, I wonder how you got out of that. Breaking Amish. Yes. The Sims is a cult. Is it really? Don't you dare say that. Um, Ex-Mormon here. There's a ton of good stuff out there. Okay. Um, how did we get from Sims to cult? What a crazy dream this has been. Guys, how did this happen? The knitting cult. N oh my gosh. It, it went from us talking about cults to then commune knitting commune knitting cult and then we got we got from there because of the housing crisis as well as like the living crisis here love that um fundy fridays is my favorite youtuber channel for that stuff raise your hand if you were personally victimized by the canadian catholic school system oh my gosh oh no no um Oh, I wonder what's going to happen with the future of the Sister Wives, the show. I hope it's over. I hope I thought it was over already. Please stop that. Um, yeah, there are like a million different ways I could be disqualified from Mormonism. My high school vice principal would dress code you for wearing sandals. Like wearing sandals. Oh my gosh. The typical cult. Stop. We really, guys, we really need to like stop joking about this because like, It'll happen. <laughs> we'll do it. Um, disqualified from Mormonism is crazy. Um, while everyone raising their hands. Realized I was pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of woke me up. <laughs> oh, I love that. We love waking up. Um, yeah, no. We're gonna we're gonna be wholesome, guys. We're not gonna do any of this stuff. It's all a joke. We're not really doing this. I don't want there to be like a, that's so funny in like, like 20 years from now, they do like a documentary about me and like starting a cult and they will find this video and, um, and use it as like a evidence of me starting one. We need t-shirts. <laughs> it says the typical craft club and then like it's crossed off. It just says cult. Uh, okay. We need to stop saying that word. I don't, it's sounding weird now. Um, yeah, cults usually have a religious backing. Somehow I doubt we will lead into that route. I also don't think so. So I think we're pretty safe here. Um, we're just knitting. It's not, it's not, not that serious. Um, but I would, I do, don't. If you talk about getting shirts, I will want to make merch and that's not okay. So we will stop that right there. Okay, what time is it? 2.45, okay. <sighs> okay, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> it's a commune, guys, it's a commune. It's commune. At the very least, we need stickers. Very true. I need to, I think it's just like, I wanna make cute stickers that are funny and I just like forget all my ideas. So that's, that's smart of me. Um, but I agree, I do need stickers. I need all the stickers. Stickers and more. You need a notes app list. <laughs> For sure. Okay. I think I'm on. Ooh, okay, we've opened. We've opened. It is now just flat. Yeah, the issue is, is I'll write all my ideas because I get all my ideas from the streams and I'll write them on random envelopes and I never keep envelopes and I always throw them away so that's that's a me issue right there we will just give scenic offerings <laughs> next admin day you gotta input it all I do I really do we need like a notebook dedicated to stream notes I do oh 
I literally, I literally, I put all my, I have a notebook here that really should be. I got it for free. From this bubble tea place, they were just like handing out, like they handed out um, cards one time and then they handed out these like notebooks. I was like, okay, gotta do that. Um, OMG typical craft camp. We all spin in it and sing songs. Dude, literally, I was thinking, sorry, all this fiber is getting into my nose. But I was thinking about holding like a retreat Oh my god, no, but then the retreat is gonna become so culty. I can't. But we were thinking, cause um I think I don't know who it was, but they had like a retreat to like Ireland or something. Um, or like Scotland. Wouldn't that be crazy if we did that? That would be actually crazy. So we're not doing that. <laughs> um But should we? Cause like knitting retreats are a thing, and I think it's really cool. And wouldn't that be so cool for all of us to like like get together, oh, I don't know. Um, that would be crazy, but I'm low key in. You know, it's crazy. I don't even know how I would set it up. I don't know logistically how that's even possible. I don't know how other people do it. Make sure it's well organized. You don't need to be a cat, <laughs> a Tanacon. Yeah, like I just don't think I have the resources and the ability to plan it like that, um, but that would be cool. The answer is it would be cool, but I have no idea. Um, Rachel's knitting. She's doing it again this year. Okay. I tagged you on Discord in my nail art post. Oh, cool. Um, I'm like trying to make a start. No, I'm trying to maybe start a small business. Should I try to make some knitting, crochet stickers, and prints? I mean, if that like... I think you gotta figure out what you want your small business to be and figure out what you wanna sell. But so like, if that's what you wanna sell, I would say, why not? Um, I want, I would go if it was in Canada cause then it would be more chill for sure. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if we did like a little camping retreat? Okay, stop. Um, oh yeah, I would have been tempted to join Rachel's knitting on her retreat, but it's too much travel with my European honeymoon also this year. Okay, okay. If you were to try it, I'd recommend staying in the country. That's very true. Uh, I've never planned something that big before, but I have planned single day events. I'll help. I okay, but I also really wanted to. I really wanted to um, plan like a. Didn't I say I wanted to plan like a knitting convention? Yeah, that was crazy. That was cr that was a crazy moment right there. Maybe we should. We shouldn't have these ideas, guys. Uh, you know, I know all the best yarn stores in Japan. Oh, that'd be fun. Um, but like that all manifested from me thinking that I, I like, I need to start small, guys. We need to first, oh my gosh, should I be like, you know, like in Sims, um, they all have like, they have their big goal and you have to like fulfill all these little goals in order to like fulfill the main goal. So like the little one, the first one would be having a stall at a yarn convention. Then the next one would be to hold a yarn convention. The next one would be hold a retreat. Then the next one would be have a commune, <laughs> you know? Like I think we're jumping, we're jumping like all of them a little bit too much here. Um, but that's hilarious and it's so funny to talk about. It's a retreat, not a recruitment. <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh. This, honestly, everything just sounds like I'm trying to recruit out you guys. Um, do one in Canada for the first one and then Japan or Norway or something for the next ones. Does anyone have any yarn racks for Taipei? I don't know, but I would love to know. So I gotta go there. Um, the thing is you can, you absolutely can do it if you give yourself enough time. Uh, that's why I think 2030 is realistic. Yarn crawled field trip. It'll be like a magic school bus and all of us nerding out over yarn. I think that'd be cool. We do like a little yarn crawl around Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I want to start a small business. I think, um, I want to have something to do with knitting crochet, but I don't really know what to do. Any tips? I would say brainstorm, feel what's right for you and also just like um figure out your budget and what you're willing to invest in um ooh, vancouver yarn crawl would be relatively easy to plan yeah like we would just have like a meeting spot and then 
either. I guess we would transit all together. I don't, I can't, I don't drive, so we'd either have to, have to carpool or we'll just all bus in. Um, but that'd be cute. We're dreaming, yeah. Things like stickers, prints, you can get discounts when putting in your first order. So lower commitment for getting started when I was selling on Etsy, I sold um, both art prints and knitting patterns. Love. Tiff, if you're serious, I will legit help plan a yarn craft. Crawl? That sounds so much fun. I would love. Um, rent a party van. <laughs> uh, meaning that you can totally explore into a variety of things before you find out your specific niche. Yeah, I think it's good to just think about it and try new things, especially when you're starting out small. Um, don't feel like you're stuck to one thing forever. You can always pivot. <gasps> 19 plus yarn crawl. I know, um, there was this one place that was doing, like, you could go to a brewery and go all, like, um, have a beer together and knit. And I thought that was so cute. But I'm, like, too socially awkward to, like, run that. <clears throat> Getting Liddy at the yarn crawl. <laughs> Dude, at every yarn store you find, like, okay, but then none of them are gonna be open. Okay, never mind. The typical field trip. I love that everyone just puts typical above everything and it immediately becomes like my, like, on brand. But, like, yeah, the issue is, is like, are breweries open at the same time that yarn stores are open? Like, how do you make sure you can hit them all? Unless you're just fully day drinking. <laughs> Okay, but almost done guys. Once we're at the end, we can call it a day. Um, and I'm into it. I have to also give my wrists a break after this. Um, nothing wrong with a little day drinking. No, but that's so dangerous because then I'll just buy all the yarn. Um, oh, wait, I know that there's a yarn, shoot, there's a knitting, there's a knitting, not union, but like, there's a group that you can join and like become a member. And if you're a member, you can get like discounts off of the different yarn stores here in Vancouver. And so I feel like they would definitely have like a, a guild, yes, that they would specifically have a yarn crawl already associated associated dude i know that there's an oregon yarn crawl we should like hold one every year um that like you do together and like you'd like stamp at each um at each store um and then at the end because i know people do like brewery crawls around here in vancouver and if you hit them all up within a certain amount of time then you get like a free cup um well now i need to okay well now i'm so interested in this Knitting Guild Vancouver. Shall I come to Canada for the yarn crawl? Uh, there was one in Cali recently. Like for any of you specifically or even for someone who would buy stuff, would you lean towards patterns or art stuff? Yeah, I'd yarn around and stuff like that. Um, okay, yeah. The West Coast Knitters Guild. Fort Vancouver Knitters Guild. Under construction. Website overhaul incoming updates. Cause like, uh, I don't want to like, I don't want to like step on their toes or like if there's an overlap, if they're already doing this, I don't know if I'm like allowed to do this. Uh, check for a weaver's guild. They're usually more inclusive. Okay. Um, there's a Brooklyn yarn crawl coming up in New York. Yeah. Like I would love to like hold something like that. And I think it would really bring the community together but I also I don't know sorry I'm looking at the I think this is the website what is the Brooklyn one uh you're definitely allowed to make events without being part of an official group okay because guild friendly guild friendly yarn shops whoa what is that I don't like how it's like you're guild friendly, but it just means that you can use the, um, you can get the membership. But that's so cool that they have it. It's, it's like not just Vancouver, but it's like all of, all of the areas. 
Um, the LA yarn crawl is of course happening when I'm in Sweden. Um, so like any tips on how to find people is like, okay. Um, knit it forward. Happenings. Neighborhood meetups. Last updated. Yeah, see like their last update was 2019. Oh wait, but that doesn't mean that they don't do it anymore. They could still be doing it. It just hasn't been updated since the 2019. Um, guys, should I start a guild? I'm kidding, but should I? How do guilds work? Oh my gosh, what is all this? Knit it forward, neighborhood knit news. Maybe check for Vancouver Weaver Spinner Guild as well. Hmm. That is just, that is not it. Events calendar. There's nothing here. Contact for members. Summer. Like, I'm wondering. Oh, content. Oh, protected. Okay. Workshops and lectures. Craft sale info. Like, I'm wondering if they're still doing any of this stuff. Do you know? Like, when was this last posted? It just says under construction. Uh, Maybe they disbanded during Rona? Should I reband? Where oh, they need to have an Instagram or something. A lot of local groups here did. Aw. I know I need to see if they contact. New mailing address. Donate. Monthly meetings. Presenting at a guild meeting? Oh my gosh, that's so intense. Time to re rebuild the guild. This is my like um. Um, this is what I need to level up. Um, time to rebuild the guild. Okay, general West Coast knitters. Sorry, I'm so devoted to this now. West Coast knitters. Yeah, they don't seem to be active anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, we have to start a guild here. And then we can do like yarn crawls because I would love to make the knitting community way bigger here. Um... It's called your, it's your calling Tiffany. We did the kill. Um, West Coast Knitters Guild moves to Vancouver. Um, okay, they have a Facebook page. West Coast Knitters of Guild on Instagram. Okay, is my Instagram still being weird? West Coast Knitters Guild. Hmm. Okay. Um, go to make pancakes. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty much done. I think uh, this will be the end of the stream. I will look more into it. Maybe we'll start a guild. That'd be hilarious. I don't know how we'd run that, but I don't think it's possible. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you guys had <laughs> interesting, um, but fun time with me. Uh, we will be back Thursday and hopefully I can post a YouTube video and all that fun stuff. So, uh, if, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or push the notification bell if you want to be notified next. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.